Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. In this video, which is Course 555 in my Building Websites with David playlist, I'm going to show you the very simplest ways to edit text on your web page in a WordPress website using the Divi Builder. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is log in. If you go down to the login form on this page, you can see I am already logged in. Now you can tell if you're logged in or not by the black bar at the top of the page. If the black bar at the top of the page has Enable Visual Builder on it, then you'll know you're logged in and you are not in the Visual Builder. And we don't want to be there yet because we want to go to the page that we want to edit. In this case, it's going to be the Contact Us page. Here on the Contact Us page, I can see that I have put, instead of please, I put P-L-E-A-D-E, -E, and I want to edit that and make it correct. While I'm here, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a certain element of the text, a word or a set of words, or you can change it to boldface, or you can change it to underline, and that's all we're going to cover in this video. First thing you need to do is to enable the Visual Builder by clicking on the link in the top black bar. And we get the twiddle, and then we come back to the form, the page itself. We're on the front end now, and as we hover over the elements on the page, you can see they get the outlines and the control handles. This is a text module. A module has a black control bar. Now, we can either click on the cogwheel to get the settings box, and we can change the spelling here. Let me close that. I'm going to show you how to do it right on the front end. Just click on it one time, and I'm going to click on it one more time. And we can see that we have a cursor in the text. I hold down the shift key, hit the right arrow, and it highlights the D. All I have to do now is type the S, and it is now corrected. All I have to do to make sure it goes live, click on the purple expander button to get the bottom bar and click over here on the green save button and we get a twiddle and after the save is done we get a check mark and we know it is saved. It is now live on the website. Before we exit the Divi Builder, I am going to change one of the words. We don't have to keep the changes so we'll do that. Let's say please I double click on it, that selects the whole word, and that gives us a text control box. Now, if you want to change the color of it, just click on the paint bucket there and select the color that you want. In this case, I want red. And click off of it, and we see that it is red. Now, the problem we had with that color selector, it was hidden under the header. That's because it's a global header and it's not part of the page. If I double click on it again, I can click on the B, which makes it boldface. I can click on the U, which makes it underlined, and I can click on the I, which makes it italic. So I click off of it and it goes away. You can see it's now red, it's boldface, it's underlined. Let's do one more thing. And let's click on the little A, big A here, which is text size. And we can change the size of that by dragging this slider. Now we see we have it bigger. I click off of it, it goes away. I am now going to press Control Z. If you're on a Mac, it's Command Z and undo. I undid the large one. I undid the italic. I undid the underline. I undid the bold face. And now I undid the color. Looks like it made the whole thing go away. Let me double click to select whatever is there, delete it and just type in P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. Please fill the form out. There we go. That's one way to change it. Now let me show you how to change it using the settings control panel, settings dialog. First, I have to click off of this text element. I'm gonna click down here one time. Now when I hover back over the text element, we can see we get this control bar. I click on the cog wheel. I get the settings dialog. You can make the settings dialog attach or detach with these buttons up here. This makes it huge. Boom. I can make it unhuge. And this will make it attached to the side. 
and this makes it unattached to the side so that you can drag it wherever you want to. When you hover over the bottom corner, that lets you drag it. Now, once you are here, if you want to change just one word, you come here to the Content tab, come to the Text Element, which if it's not expanded, it usually is to start. You can drop that arrow down and see the text element. You can come here into the, this is the old style editing that was used to be the only way you could edit things in WordPress. Double click the word you want to change. You can change the color by clicking on this icon here, which you see it says text color. It's hidden below my mouse cursor, but if I click on it, it gives us a selection box. I can turn it red here. It's still selected, but notice both here and over in the text itself, it's turned red. We can use these icons up here to make it bold face. We can make it italic. We can make it underlined. And it shows up here. And if we click off of it, it shows up here as well. Double click. Let's click the italic to undo it. Let's click the underline to undo that. Let's click the bold face to undo that undo that and let's click that to make it black so it's back where it was whenever you've made all the changes you want to a single word click on the checkbox and now all your changes will be saved once you have made all the changes you want to make the next thing you need to do is save your changes just find that green save button sometimes it'll be over on the other side depending on how wide your screen is click on the save button get the twiddle you get the check mark Sometimes I'll click it twice just to make sure it saves and it doesn't hurt. Once you're done with that, you come up to the top and you exit the visual builder and you're all done. This is now a live web page. It says, please, and you're done. That's all there is to it. I hope this has been helpful. Leave us a good thumbs up if it was. Leave us a comment on how you like this video or how you're going to use it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another good tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Take care, everybody.